And we're back. Hi, I'm Zach Mandel for ESPN News. We're here with Mr. Jacob Lazar, who's come to us with his very much anticipated decision on where he's going to be next year. Jacob, can you tell us just exactly what you're feeling right now? Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I appreciate you asking, Zach. And uh, let me just say, I'd like to thank the fans. They've been giving me constant support the whole week. And, you know, they really know how important this decision is. Mm -hmm. well, uh, so, Jacob, can you be kind enough to share your decision with the crowd? Yeah, yeah. This fall, 2011, I will be taking my talents to Providence, Rhode Island, and I will be playing for the Brown Bears. I appreciate you for your time, Zach. It's been a pleasure. Well, there you have it, folks. Mr. Jacob Lass. Here we are outside of the halls of New Trier High School District 303. My name is Jacob Lazar, and with me as always is my co-partner and chief correspondent, Zach Mandel. You see, we're already in the college, but we want to get a closer look at just what it's like in the competitive environment of New Trier. Let's, Let's go in. Here we are in the halls of New Trier High School. I can feel the tension already. You see, any sort of distraction from academics can really be detrimental. Let's see if we can get some inside interviews with students. Hello, I'm here with high school senior Adam Palmer. Adam, how's it going? Okay, I'm, I'm a little PO'd, uh, though, that you interrupted my uh, Russian literature reading session. But beyond that, I'm good. All right, you know, I understand you got a lot of classes to take. You know, if you can just give me a little bit of information, that's all we Okay. Uh, anything I need to know. So where are you going this year? Uh, well, I'm sorry, not this year. It's gonna, it's next year. Yeah, uh, Washington University in St. Louis. So, uh, you know, I know they just put down a recent uh, survey. You know, they rated the schools and stuff. So where's WashU rank among the best? 13. 13? In the country, yeah. That's a little low. These are really some rare shots that we're getting right now. You know, they usually don't let us do this with students, but... I'm trying to distract them as little as possible. As you can see, their time is almost as precious as a diamond. Here we are, Adam Cohn here. He looks like he is focusing. We, we, we can't really distract him right now because he... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're outside the side of the study right now. I think we're going to go in. I'm a little nervous, but we're going to see what we can do. Let's go in. We're inside the side of the study. It's hard at work. Let's see if we can get some interviews. Dude, just one question. Seriously. No, just get out. Please. I got a test. No, no, wait, it's for a project. Here we are outside of the Post High School Counseling Office where dreams are made and broken. We're about to get an exclusive interview with Executive Counselor Tom Shore. Okay, let's go in. We're interested in uh, seeing the pressures involved at Nutria. How much pressure do you feel like students feel to perform well at Nutria? Well, to the extent of which they feel like that performance academically in the classroom is going to determine um, the kinds of college options they have at the end of their, their time at Nutria, then I think, yeah, um, if they're correlating those two things, college options with academic performance, then I think that there is a lot of pressure. Look, I'm not going to sit here and point fingers, but they know what they signed up for. I mean, they need to stop complaining and do their work. This is AP, okay?
What? The limit does not exist. That's the easiest thing ever. Anyone could have known that. So, Mr. Bond, we hear you run kind of a tight shift. Um, have you ever had anybody cry in your classes? Oh, of course. We have about four or five criers every year. Any repeat offenders? You know what I always say. Once a crier, always a crier. Another aspect that we wanted to talk about was the kind of the pressure on the learning environment. How do you feel that impacts the learning, kind of just the need to do well on the assignments rather than actually learn the material? Uh huh. Yeah, that, and that, that, that is a, it's, it's kind of an age-old debate, that's right, it's, trying, it's, it's about the end result, it's one thing to get an A, but it's another thing to ask yourself how much did I, did I learn about that particular topic to get an A. Mark Twain once said, I won't let my schooling get in the way of my education, but I say, I won't let my education get in the way of my A's. Here I am with the true student Ben Persifield, Ben, I'm going to kind of lay out a scene for you, and you know, I just want to hear what you've got to say. So you got two classes, and one class you're going to get an A, but you're probably not going to learn that much. Or you're in another class, and you'll get a B, but you're going to learn a lot. Which class do you go with? I'm going to have to easily go with A. No brainer whatsoever. And the reason is, I mean, it's an A. Uh, I'll take the A. Seriously? A. 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 Seriously? A. But I should have A. I'll you. Um. I'm taking the A. We're here with Adam Palmer, who slept with his German teacher. <laughs> <laughs> to get an A in the I'm class. I'm a French student. I'm a French student. He, yes, he did sleep with his teacher just so he could get an A in the class and get. So, do you feel like that this pressure is what causes some students to cheat? I think that uh, it certainly can be part of it. Yeah, you hope that, that the pressure is never so extreme that a student feels like they have to. Um, they have to compromise their, their, their own moral integrity. Have you ever cheated on a test before? A, a, a couple times. Mm -hmm. A couple times. Uh -huh. It's perfect. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, as I always say, cheating. if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Yeah. <laughs> I try harder to look at someone else's paper than I ever tried and listen to what he's saying in class. Okay, class, we'll be getting back our examinations today. I think I did really good on this one. In fact, I think I aced it. Jacob, your test. Why, thank you. A minus. You gotta be kidding me! Looks like I'll have to handle this the old fashioned way. Here's my test, Mr. Bond. Why, thank you. Oh, here's Professor Livingston. Let's see if we can get a couple words with him. Let's walk into his car. Professor Livingston! Professor Livingston, we'd like to ask you a couple questions for a project. Uh, Professor Livingston. Listen, I don't have time to answer your stupid questions. It'll just, ta it'll just take a couple minutes. Get the fuck out of here. It's just, it's just been real tough for us out here. You know, we thought we were going to be accepted into the learning environment. It's, it's been difficult, to say the least. Mr. Goral, yeah. can we ask you some questions? I just want to take Always your interview. I, I know, Goral, <laughs> just want a couple questions. No. So, have you ever had a student cheat in your class? Yes. And what did you do about that? It's been different things, depends on what happened. Did you uh, shut him down? Yes. Did you torture them? Yes. Did I see you in the girls' locker room yesterday? Yes. Is that all you need? Okay, I gotta go, I gotta run. Okay, we'll follow you. No. We're back with Mr. Goral. Oh, Mr. Goral, so were you mad when the students cheated? I don't want to talk about cheating. That's stupid. I don't want to talk. What about that student that called you in the middle of the night? I don't want to talk about stupid stuff. So here we are. And it's been a long journey, uh, me and Zach, good partners. Um, but we made it. Mm. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of doubters. Uh, I would say namely the student body, uh, the staff many members of the janitorial staff as well. Um, but I never doubted us for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew what we wanted and we went in there and we got it. Yeah. Um, but at this point, uh, I don't want to take up your time too long, I'd like to turn the attention to my good yeah. friend Zach here, mm -hmm. if he'd like to say a few words. Yeah, thank you, Jake. Now, I thought you made some great points there. Thanks. You know, I'm glad we're on the same page. And you know, I've really enjoyed working with you. Yeah, thanks. 
Um, but anyway, at this point, I'd, I'd like to, to look back at our experience in, you know, this film, in the making of it. And, you know, I, I want to take a closer look at the subject, being, you know, the new career student. Yeah, uh-huh. And uh, when I look at them, you know, I see one thing. And, you know, they're serious, okay? They're willing to go to extreme measures to get that grade. And, you know, Jacob, yeah. Uh, are you sure you want to light that here? Yeah, yeah, it's our last day. You know, uh, I figured we'd have a little bit of a celebration well, you know, on our success. The producer, you know, he's not here, so I, I might as well, you know, take out my stogie as well. Oh, you got one too? You want me to give you a light here, my yeah, friend? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, okay. here we got it. Yeah. Let's get it going on here. Uh, the smell of sweet ginger and, and mahogany. Yes. So anyway, let's get back to the film here. Yeah, you know, after all this, all the memories, I, I wouldn't change a thing, to be quite honest. You know, it, yeah. was, it was great. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on that note, I'd I just like to, to leave something for uh, the viewer to think about. Yeah. So think about it. Got my first real six string Bought it at the five and dime Played it till my fingers bled Was a summer of 16